everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob, we are DURC, and today we are going to be looking at the WPL C24-1. That's a 1 16th scale crawler. Uh, now this is one of my, probably one of my cheapest purchases that I've had so far on the channel. Uh, I've seen a lot of people talking about the WPL stuff and I thought, right, I want to give them a try and see what they're like. You know, I like the fact that they look like they're, you know, nice scale hard bodies and things like that. So, let's get out of the box. I haven't run it yet, so let's get out of the box. Let's see what it's like. Let's see what we get included. And then we will take it out for a crawl and we'll see what it's like. So, I've already broken the cell tape on the box. So let's slide it out. Instruction manual, uh, which there you go. does have English in there. Okay, so you've got your instructions. We've got our plastic off. Okay, so you've got your little control. Uh, now I believe these are proportional, so you can actually you know steer properly left to right and uh, do your throttle. Uh, now these say it's a four channel apparently. Um, you've got your adjustment on your steering trim. And then once you turn it on, you've got your LED. Um, so, so here's the actual rig itself. So I went with the three battery version. So I got this off AliExpress. I think it cost me $50, including tax and shipping. So like super cheap. So it's like 42 pounds or something like that. And I went, I went for the three batteries. So I got uh, one batteries in here, two spare batteries. Um, and then, because I thought I like doing like longer trails, like going for walks and stuff like that. So I thought one battery is just not going to cut it, is it? You get all your little scale accessories. Um, so you get like mirrors, you've got like your little tow hitches on there. Uh, looks like you've got door handles and stuff like that. So that's really cool. You've got all the holes and everything to stick everything in here. So that's cool. It's a hard body, which is nice. And it's actually quite a nice looking hard body, to be fair. You know, you've got interior in there as well. Uh, I'll, I'll grab the camera in a minute and you can take a closer look. But yeah, to be fair, that's actually quite a nice looking hard body. I think with a little, you know, scale figure in there, maybe some stickers and a bit of weathering or something like that, this could look really cool. So, okay, so we've got our truck. And then you also get your charger, okay? So that's what you get in the box. Let's power it on. We'll take a closer look at it, we'll see what it's like, and then we'll uh, we'll get out and take it for a rip. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the actual rig itself. So like I said, it's a hard body. You've got that full interior. You've got your rear bed. Uh, this is where your battery goes in the back here. So you just pull this up, and then your battery just slots in the back in there. Okay, that's pretty neat. Push it down when you're done. Tires. Oh, they're quite hard tires, to be fair. You can hear it's a bit plasticky, um, but obviously, you know, it only costs $50, so I'm not expecting the world, do you know what I mean? Uh, suspension, very bouncy. The front is stiffer than the rear. Rear's very soft, front's quite stiff. Uh, if we take a look underneath. So it's got a little, I think it's a little 270 motor, it's a tiny little thing. Um, uh, it looks like it's actually got metal axles, which I thought this was just all plastic, but it's actually got metal axles, front and rear. And obviously you've got your steering servo. I've no idea what that rating is going to be for the steering servo. You've got LEDs on the front as well, which I'll show you. We'll turn it all on in a minute. We can see what they look like. It's a full link on the rear and a full link on the front. Obviously you've got your gearbox. So it's really simple. You can see the shocks there don't actually have springs. They're just shocks, okay? And there's a, quite a lot of wiggle there. They might be able to tighten those screws up maybe or put some washers in there or something. But to be fair, you know, I mean, for me personally, I just want to give it a go, see what it's like. But also, you know, for some videos and stuff like that for the channel, you know, if it's got a bit of bounce and stuff like that, like the SCX24, you know, you pay £120 for an SCX24 and that's really bouncy suspension as well. So it'd be interesting to see how it compares. Uh, this is one of my first 1 16th scale rigs. Most of my rigs are 1 10th scale. Um, I do have a little Axial XCS24, which is obviously 1 24th scale. Um, but this is one of my first 1 16th scale. I have actually bought the WPL B16 as well. 
So we'll be giving that a try as well. Uh, but I really love a Hilux. So I was like, right, well, I've got to have the, uh, the C24, haven't I? So, right, let's chuck the battery in. Let's turn it on. Let's see what it's like on the table. We'll chuck the accessories on. Uh, and then we'll take it out and see what it's like. Okay, so to put the battery in, you're just gonna lift this little flap up here. Your battery just slots in and just plugs into here. Okay, so I've just plugged that in. So let's just pop that in there, tuck it away. Just close that down, give it a little push. It does a nice little click. Okay. And then if we grab our transmitter, okay, and just switch it on. Okay, it's flashing away. And then underneath, you've got your power switch here to turn it on. Okay, so there's your lights. Let's see what it's like. So, you know, we can do proportional steering. You know, it's not amazing, but I mean, again, you know, what you expect for $50, I suppose. And then a little bit of driving. It's not very, oh, okay. We'll go launching off the table now. Very noisy motor. I actually really like the yellow star lights. Proper old school. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's get our accessories on. Uh, and then we'll take it out for a little crawl. We'll see what it's like. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's not waterproof. Most of my things normally end up submerged in the water, so <laughs> we'll probably try and avoid water a little bit to begin with, just to see if it's waterproof. So this is all the accessories you get in the accessories pack. So you get like four door handles, you get your front like towing eyes, you get three windscreen wipers, two mirrors, you get your snorkel, you get some spare links, you get a screwdriver, four screws, rear lights and so on and you get your little stickers so yeah it's really cool that they give you some spares as well so obviously uh, if you do lose any um, I'm gonna glue mine on so that hopefully they don't come off but uh, yeah so that's the little accessory set you get with it so we're gonna get those on okay we are out on the trail we are back at our usual spot so let's see how the little WPL C24 does along the bank, see if we can get up the steep bank, and then we'll just take it for a little bit of a crawl along and just see what it's like. Side hilling. Don't think it's got the grip to get up there to be honest you can see those tires are just getting coated in mud and it's just spinning and then that little motor's got the power or the tires have got the grip so it's not going to get up that bank but to be fair that's quite a steep bank and obviously there's a lot of leaves and a lot of mud so but good effort move on to the next bit
to get over these logs. struggling there isn't it? Let's just see if we can get across coming from the other way. Okay guys that's it for today. So overall, you know, I think for you know how much I paid, like fifty dollars, you know, it's not bad. It's a decent little trail truck. Um, you know, the only things I would say that it's struggling with is throttle control's not the best. Uh, the tires, you know, don't seem amazing, um, and I don't know if the motor's struggling uh, a little bit. Uh, another thing I've noticed as well is the gearbox obviously being so low it gets hung up on that quite a lot because that sticks down quite a bit so I don't know if there's options to change that I'll have a look at and see if there's some different alternatives but yeah so it, it hangs up on that a little bit um, but otherwise you know the motor is pushing it over things you know it is getting over as you've just seen you know some of the little kind of twigs and logs and stuff you know which for its size you know are kind of scale for its size but I really like the look of it, I've got to be honest, it's a really nice looking hard body and it just looks really cool. I definitely want to get a figure in there and you know, get some accessories on it and stuff like that because I just think it looks really cool. Uh, I do think I will buy some more, uh, I'm definitely going to have a look at some upgrade options, you know, I'm not disappointed, you know, at the end of the day I paid $50 so, you know, it's not like I'm expecting a Traxxas TRX4 or something like that, do you know what I mean, it's, it's $50 so, but yeah, so let me know in the comments what WPR rigs you've got, what you've done to them to make them better, uh, what you think I should do to this one to make it better, and then I can obviously do those upgrades and see how it compares. Uh, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.